What's going on everybody? Al here. This is going to be my top 15 fragrances for the winter of 2011-2012. I'm going to show you 15 bottles from my collection that I reach for the most this winter. Let's get started. At number 15 is a fragrance from the House of Bougeron and it's Jaipur Om. This is the EVP version. Opens up really strong, very spicy, got some cinnamon, some vanilla, lasts a long time. Gets a lot of compliments. Great for the cool weather. Jaipur Om from Bujaran, the EVP version. Check this out at number 15. Number 14 is a fragrance from the House of Creed. And it's Royal Oud. This is a really elegant fragrance. Got a little bit of spices. Got the Oud wood with some incense to balance it out. Really well done. I enjoy it a lot. Definitely check this out. It's from Creed. And it's Royal Oud at number 14. Number 13 is from Yves Saint Laurent, and it's one of those fragrances, if you're going to go out at night time, this is it right here. If you look at, you look up going out at night time in a dictionary and it's going to show you Yves Saint Laurent's La Nuit de l'Homme. Really great fragrance for the night time, gets a lot of compliments, the women love this stuff. It's got some lavender, some spices, some vanilla. If you're going to go out, put this on, you'll get noticed. At number 13, Yves Saint Laurent's La Nuit de l'Homme, very classy. Very elegant, very sexy. Number 13. Number 12 is a timeless classic. It's been around for a long time. It's always going to be in my collection. It's from Christian Dior and it's Fahrenheit. I've been wearing this a lot this winter. So it's number 12 on my list, Fahrenheit. This is the big boy, the 6.8 ounce. As you can see, I love this fragrance. I even have the older formula of Fahrenheit. Take a look at the bottle difference. Different the caps are different. This one says Dior, this one says Christian Dior. Nothing. Ooh, that toilet right there. Take a look. Fahrenheit. At number 12, you guys know it has a strong opening. The petroleum, the violet, has a very unique scent. Timeless classic right here. It gets a lot of compliments. And it's Christian Dior's Fahrenheit at number 12 on my list. Okay, number 11 is from the house of Ferry Mugler and it's Pure Havan. At first, I, I really didn't like this fragrance. It took me a few times of, of wearing it to really appreciate it. Now, I reach for it a lot. It opens up really sweet, like a cherry syrup kind of, but then it gets really creamy. You get the sweet tobacco leaf, a little bit of honey. Really nice fragrance, really creamy and nice. Creamy and tobacco leaf at the same time. Can't go wrong with this. From the house of Derry Mueller, it's pure Havan. Like I said, I really didn't like this in the beginning. I really appreciate it now. That's number 11. All right, now we're getting down to the top 10. At number 10, this is a fragrance that's categorized as apple pie. Fresh baked apple pie with cinnamon. It's from the Hermes Essence line, and it's Ambre Nagale. Ambre Nargil, Ambre Nargale, however you want to say it. And this fragrance smells like fresh baked apple pie with cinnamon on top. It's from Jean Claude Elena. I enjoy this a lot. In the cool weather, you put this on, it just makes you feel great. Like I said, freshly baked apple pie with some cinnamon, lasts a long time, and gets a lot of compliments. That's Ambre Nargale from the Hermes Essence line. Number 10. All right, number nine. This is one of those fragrances that the opening throws you a curveball. You smell the opening, you might not like it. Some people hate it. I love it. It's Muscadavajor. Again, the opening has the strong cloves. People smell for the first time, they're like, what the hell is, why is everybody saying this fragrance smells so sexy? First of all, I enjoy the clove opening. It's very unique, it's different, and after the cloves gets into the heart, it's, I mean, it's straight up sex in a bottle right here. You get the real nice vanilla, creamy vanilla scent out of this. It lasts forever, and it gets a lot of compliments. If you get past the opening, definitely give Moscow Avajor a try. Sex in a bottle right here. Number nine on my list. I enjoy the opening. All right, number eight, <coughs> excuse me. Number eight is a fragrance from the house of Ferry Mugler once again, and it's pure malt. 
Humalt opens up really strong with the the boozy whiskey with the berries. You get into the heart and the dry down. You get the caramel, vanilla, really amazing fragrance. Really well done. Definitely unique from Terry Mueller. That's pure malt. Love this fragrance. Hard to get. At number eight. All right, number seven. Number seven is also is uh, another fragrance that I really enjoy. The more I wear it, the more I like it. It's from the house of Guerlain, and it's Tanka Imperial. Take a look. This fragrance smells like almond cookies, like real nice almond with uh, some cinnamon, some spices, hits you from different, different directions. The almond is the main key in this fragrance. Almond, vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of spices. Really well blended, smells so nice. Very classy, very elegant, very sexy. Tanka Imperial at number seven. I did a Street Scent video on that. Came out really good. Check that out if you haven't. Number seven, Tanka Imperial. Number six. This is a fragrance from the House of Bond number nine. One of the best coffee fragrances out there. New Harlem. You got the coffee, some vanilla, a little bit of lavender, some patchouli. It's an amazing fragrance. It's creamy coffee right here. Creamy coffee in a bottle. One of the best coffees out there. Bond number nine is New Harlem. At number six. Okay. We're at the top five. At number five is another fragrance from Guerlain. And it's L'Instant de Guerlain Pour Homme Extreme. It's the extreme version. Opens up with the anise, the licorice. Got a little bit of citrus. It has the real nice cocoa dry down. I love fragrances that have cocoa in it. Well done cocoa right here. L'Instant de Guerlain Pour Homme Extreme. At number five. Number four is a fragrance that's very elegant, very classy. It's from Serge Lutens and it's Shergi. This fragrance is strange because it's sweet but dry. You have this hay note that's dry but then you have the honey that makes it sweet. So it's, it's strange but very, very exotic at the same time. And in a good way, strange in a good way. I love that it's dry and sweet. And then you have some spices to round it all off. Amazing, right here. Well done by Sergio Tan's Chergi. One of their, one of their favorites for me. I, out of this whole Sergio Tan's line, Chergi is one of my favorites. Always going to be in my collection. Number four, right here, Chergi. Number three is a fragrance that got, got me the most compliments in the shortest amount of time. It's from Christian Dior, and it's Dior Homme Intense. Opens up with the iris, that lipstick kind of smell with uh, some clay. Dries down with the cocoa, a little bit of vanilla. Another cocoa fragrance. You know, I love cocoa fragrances, so it's always going to be in my collection. And this right here is another sexy offering from Christian Dior. Dior Homme Intense. If you haven't smelled this, believe me, check it out. It's amazing. Alright, the top two. At number two is a fragrance that I adore. If you guys have watched my past videos, you'll know that I really love this fragrance. It does so well on my skin, it lasts forever. It's from, from Tom Ford's Private Blend, and it's Tobacco Vanilla, number two on my list. Again, this fragrance lasts forever on my skin. It does so well. Opens up with a sweet tobacco leaf with some honey on top, a little bit of spices, Amazing dry down when the vanilla, vanilla and the tobacco leaf unite, it takes you on a journey. It's I, I love this fragrance. Tobacco vanilla takes you on a journey. The vanilla tobacco leaf, they unite and then you get a little bit of a marshmallow like a s'mores cookie. Can't go wrong right here. Gets me a ton of compliments and lasts forever. I get 14 plus hours on tobacco vanilla. That's why it's number two on my list. This was number one on my fall list, I believe. And it felt number two because I have a new favorite that I've been wearing a lot lately. It's very unique. It's different. Hits you from all angles. It's from the house of Nasomato. And it's Black Afghano. What a unique fragrance. When I first took a smell with this, it blew me away. I couldn't believe it. It's, you can't even, it's unpredictable. 
it's like a chameleon. It hits you from one angle, then it hits you another, another angle. It keeps changing, but for the better. It opens up with incense. You got some some woods. You got some vetiver. You got some hashish, supposedly. I, I really don't get the hashish, but a lot of people do. And it just everything is just like jumping all around, like a chameleon. And like I said, it's, you can't even predict this fragrance. It's very unpredictable, but it, yeah, at the same time, it's very appealing. I get so many compliments. My wife loves it. Everybody I let smell this fragrance, Black Afghano, they all love it. They want to get a sample. They want to get a bottle. It's hard to find. It is pricey. One ounce is $185. If you can get your nose on it, definitely check it out. Nasomato Black Afghano. I highly recommend it. Like I say, very unpredictable in a good way. Hits you from every angle angle possible. And that lasts for 24 hours. That's how strong this fragrance is. Two, two sprays goes a long way. Less is more with Black Afghano. But that's my number one fragrance for 2011-2012 for the winter. I've been wearing this a lot. You can see, it looks like I hardly put a dent in it, but believe me, I've been wearing it. One or two sprays and you're good to go. There you have it, my top 15 fragrances for the winter of 2011-2012. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, send me a message. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.